What's up guys, SS here. I'm at work. I figured I'd do this unboxing at work. A couple of guys wanted to see it, so it's a huge fucking box. So got plenty of room here. Let's check out this huge beast. Alright guys. Sorry, I had to cut that. That shit was a bitch to get out by myself. So this is pretty much the box and you can see how big it is because look back there. My favorite, favorite beast of a toy to play with. I mean, whew. That's my tumbler right there. All right, guys. So you got this nice light brown beige thing going on. Way different than my black one. You got Dark Knight Rises, the Bat Emblem, Tumblr, Camel version. You got your Hot Toys emblem there and movie masterpiece let's spin this fucking beast around side you get these little snowflakes going on around the box too on the bottom collector's edition MMS 184 and show you the top Oops. sorry guys just Dark Knight Rises and the other side pretty much the same and in the back there's my my real tumbler of my baby uh, you get all these credits alright guys let me fetch this razor real quick and I'm probably gonna have to shut this off for a second I'll see you guys in a second I'll pull it out alright guys pretty much this is what you get when you open it up. You get the styrofoam. And this thing is a bitch to take out. See, it's even got little things to tell you what to grab. So it comes nicely packaged. Looks like it's in one piece. So you get that box, the shipper box, and of course the instructions here. Tumblr, camouflage version, instruction sheet. So, there is what you get inside. And there's a couple little boxes, which I'm sure, just like my first one, is for all the little spoilers that go back here and shit. Alright guys, so let me completely unpackage it. And then we'll get a better look at it. guys pretty much other than this and you get four little boxes so you're getting the instructions the tumbler and obviously in those four little boxes you get the spoilers get the smaller ones and then you get the big ones in this bigger clamshell Pretty much same thing as the black one. Unfortunately, there's no tank bit. I mean, not tank, uh, the big ass gun from the movie that pops out of here. But just take a quick look. You can see how big this mother is. I mean, look at that tire back there. This is a huge payloader. And it's pretty damn big, this fucking tumbler. Really, really nice paint jobs. Paint job that they did on this. It's not all just a clean paint job that they did on it. You can see they did a, nice, a lot of nice little uh, scratches and stuff like that on it. A lot of battle damage. Pretty neat. 
got all the lights on it, so it comes with the plastic on the wheels. Nice big wheels, kind of like my payloader there. And of course in there you get those locks that you could take out if you choose to do so. So the tires don't spin. It's raining out. It was sunny, but I'm on my lunch break now. Of course the fucking clouds come in with the rain. So you can see right there. Got some of the LED lights going on. As well as up there behind the plastic. Got nice little wipers. Nice real big tires. Functional. Take a look at the springs in there. You know what? Let me move this. Got more light over there. I know I'm gonna drop this fucker. Alright, so pretty much that's better lighting. You know those cool little details, the rivets. It's a shame because this thing is going to stay boxed up. Just don't have the room right now. But I didn't want to miss out on it. Still get that huge engine jet plane part back there with the shocks and those nice cylinders. Pretty neat. I'm happier with it than I thought I was going to be. It should look cool next to the black one with my bat pod. Really neat. I didn't think they were gonna put all these cool scratches on it. And I was gonna. I thought it was gonna be just a, you know, a nice brand new paint job. But pleasant surprise. I can't wait to bring it home and compare it now, cause. I don't remember if the other one had this part like that. I don't know if there's some subtle differences in it. It might be, might be the same shit, who knows. And of course, you got this piece. Opens up, like so. And you got another box in there, which should be the, the steering wheel, or steering column, I don't remember how the first one was. But you could see right there, the dash. Don't mind that, just the guys at work. Alright guys, so back at home and I got the camel tumbler together for you guys to take a quick glance at. You can see there's Bean just chilling atop. And for a quick comparison, sorry guys, I don't have a lot of room, so you can see Bats chilling on top of his. So pretty much they're identical. Exactly identical, except for the paint, of course. Now, I only put the spoilers one side on because I just this thing's going back in the box as well as that one. So, just don't have the room right now to display them, but I didn't want to miss out on them. You know what I mean? So, it's cool having Bane on one, and they really, really look cool. It looks badass together. The lights are already identical. The inside, and let me grab a light here real quick, and I'll show you guys some uh, closer details now that I got room and light in here. So we got some cool scratches going on everywhere, pretty much. Still got the same cool pistons as this one does. So the only difference is the black, and you know. Clearly, there's no scratches on that one. But, let's see if I can get in there and get some detail. Yeah, you can see the little shocks in there. 
This is such a bitch to get out. I gotta grab some pliers. Those fucking red things right there. They lock the wheels. The back ones are cool to get out. But those front ones, you gotta have some small ass pliers. I don't feel like running down to get the pliers. So you can see the inside there. Real nice and roomy. Two seater, obviously. Uh, that console piece moves. Uh, the steering wheel and this whole this whole piece right here it all slides forward and backwards you got some cool little details in there let me see if I can yep there you got there's a little screen shit like that and over here you got the steering wheel it does have some little details right there you can see on the glass and even the floor you know, it's got some rivets and stuff like that. I'm going to try and keep this short, guys. Just, just like the black ones. So, let me shut these lights off real quick because they're kind of getting in the way. So, you can see what it looks like with the spoilers. They're pretty cool. They're easy to connect. I just, I didn't connect those gold ones all the way because I'm just going to pop them off. I don't want to break anything. It's got those cool LEDs everywhere. I got them there, back there. I really wish they would have put that cannon that it fires in the movie, but whatever. I'm never gonna really show that, anyways. Really detailed everywhere. Got the scratches everywhere. Got these neat pieces, just like the black one. And you got these gas caps there. This, that spoiler. Is a bitch to get on and I don't want to put put it on all the way since I'm not going to be displaying it right now the black one goes on easy but this you slide it you slide in these two pegs and then you got the little ones in the back but that upper one on both sides they're just a fucking bitch to get on oh what else so there's rivets everywhere Really cool, like dirt details. See right there, kind of looks dirty. Really cool details everywhere. And of course, Bane looks fucking badass atop this mobile. So let me see if I can grab it real quick. And no, I gotta have to take his ass off. So that's what it'll look like closed and it's pretty simple under here this slides out uh, just see if I can do this one handed yep then under there there's a piece right here you gotta like fold it down and then once it drops down a little you could slide it all the way back. You can't just force it back. That kind of like an elbow that drops down. So make sure you you futz around enough and figure it out so you don't damage the damn thing. And also the windows come with that clear rasta, uh, plastic wrap shit. They're, the outer parts are easy to get off, but it does have on the inner part as well kind of a bitch to get off I don't want to scratch it so fuck it I will just leave it on all right got that look nice scratches all over on the top it's really neat I love this piece I'm glad I got it I mean I'm still gonna get the 80 the 89 Batmobile and then that's it for uh Vehicles. I mean, I got this, the Tron bike, the Bat Pod. There's too much shit. Too much big shit. So these just pop in there. Get three for each side. And give me a second. And I'll spin this bad boy around. 100. So 
my table is not big enough for the both of these. This is a fucking queen size bed that I have both of them on. Alright, so that's what it looks like without the, the spoilers and then with them on. This one, you gotta touch that piece. Got the real springs going on there. The little canisters. Love the tires. Always love that they use real rubber and they make them look weathered. That looks badass. I just wish they would have put maybe a little bit of LEDs in there or some shit like that. But still. Then again, it doesn't bother me because I'm never going to light this thing up again, probably. So. It looks fucking mean. That's a hell of a rear. Just fucking wicked. This thing is huge. But pretty much everything is... Uh, Alright. There's some of the gauges. Uh, pretty much, like I said, everything's identical. But they did a cool job. Really nice detailing everywhere. It's going to be easier to keep dust dust free off the fucking thing compared to the black one the black one is just a dust magnet that thing so I got no broken parts on mine luckily but just be careful with them because they are very fragile let's see there's the other side really beautiful detailing they did a great job on it no major nitpicks, no bullshit whining about this for me. Give me a second, guys. So, that's pretty much it. Not a whole, whole lot else to show on this. Uh, battery compartment, pretty much right there. Unscrew it, three triple A's, and then you got the on off switch right there so get a lot of LEDs it looks like 10 yeah looks like 10 LEDs five on each side looks mean it's very mean still love the black one as well all right guys I said I want to keep it kind of short. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it. And that's it, guys.